We're anchored off the Hawaiian island of Maui, and behind me is the town of Lahaina. This is year one, week 18, day seven. sitting here on our grand suite balcony looking over here across Lahaina Bay. Maui is behind me but I'm looking out right here at the island of Lanai and it's actually been a very interesting day on board this ship. The reason being is because when we arrived here at uh, Lahaina the wind was actually an onshore breeze so the waves and swells and everything were too big to tender into shore which obviously got people all pissy pissy it was we had a lot of fun sitting down this morning and so we had about a five hour delay before people could actually get off the ship and so excursions were canceled and and all of that <laughs> so it was really funny because we knew that people were just going to be a really in a pissy mood, mood and complaining and and they were we saw some we saw some great personalities uh down on the ship talking to the crew you know like i just don't understand i don't know why we can't, can't get off it's like well if you looked at the tenders i mean they were just like because they were going back and forth and testing the waters and they were just going back and forth and, and eventually it calmed down and the tenders were able to to start taking people to shore and we decided not, we're not even going to leave the ship because they've extended the time that we have on shore tomorrow so we have another almost full day we don't leave here i think we're going to weigh anchor like at 8 p.m tomorrow so we got a full day tomorrow and it's a little town it looks like lahaina looks very quaint and what people were telling us back on the big island at hilo that lahaina is uh is very much like a very small you know local Hilo town so we're kind of excited to go on shore so but yeah it was a great great day from just you know watching the tender operations and what they were having to do to how actually dead the ship was because once people got off this afternoon and went on shore the ship was just there was like nobody on the ship because I think we've got a total of like 5,000 passengers or something like that so uh, yeah, it was really really uh, cool day. So, but yeah, we're looking forward to to getting on shore tomorrow. But today is Cinco de Mayo, and for the first time, this is what day four, I think, of the actual cruise. And for the first time, we're actually going to go to the buffet, the Windjammer, because it's Mexican night for Cinco de Mayo. But of course, we don't want any Cinco on the ship. No Cinco, no Cinco. That's what I've been telling the crew because most of the crew is, you know, from Indonesia or from India, and so they don't understand Cinco de Mayo. So I've been telling them about Cinco de Mayo. And then, of course, then I like, oh no, we're on the ship. No Cinco, no Cinco, no, no blue, 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 no blue, blue, blue. So, but yeah, it's been a great day, and so we'll see you later, maybe later in the day here maybe this evening or tomorrow so bye behind me and what happened today with not being able to get off the ship for like five hours and we decided like I said we didn't get off the ship but with so many people complaining because yeah shore excursions were canceled and all that because the wind and the weather just wasn't a, you know uh, cooperating I mean as the cruise director said there was a lot of motion in the ocean today but and I've talked about this before but you know, we put ourselves in our own mood and 
you know, we're on a ship. I mean, fundamentally, we're on something that floats, and safety obviously is a big concern for the captain and the crew. And and we got to see the tenders, and they were really bobbing around as they were trying to get into the harbor just to test the waters. And with everybody getting upset, it just got me thinking about how much we just put ourselves in our own mood. I mean, behind me is the island of Maui. The, the ship here, Ovation of the Seas, is actually just a magnificent floating vessel here. There's plenty of stuff to do. And because we are such elitists on this ship, <laughs> that we get upset because we can't leave the ship to go to land <laughs> which is absolutely hilarious to me so but just keep that in mind as you know we take this journey of thinking less fat and acting less fat and being less fat but just being different is think about how much you put yourself in your own mood nobody actually does it to you so it was just uh, very eye-opening today to actually see everybody do that to themselves so we shall see you